Zimbabwe club soccer champions FC Platinum reinstalled themselves amongst the big boys of African football with a memorable 4-2 victory that books them a ticket in the lucrative CAF Total Champions League group phase 5-2 on aggregate. Platinum had won the opening leg 1-0. No one would have believed that we're going to to score so much goals, especially after trailing by two goals to nil in the in the first half. What we only believed in was that we we're going to progress to the group stages. But this performance of scoring so much goals, like four goals in the second half, was unexpected. But our performance uh, actually matched at the number of goals that we performed. Uh, we, we scored. We could have even, even scored more if we were clinical in the first half. But we won't take anything from the guys. They did very well. Yet Songo had stunned the Platinum just 10 minutes into the match after bad organization in the Platinum defense allowed Infran Matola to sneak behind and tap home the opener. A quarter of an hour later, it got even worse and for the first time on aggregate, Songo took over the driving seat of a swift counter-attack that left Platinum exposed at the rear. An intelligent defense-splitting pass from captain Luis Mikuzone then liberated Stelio Ernesto who made no mistake and Platinum's world was collapsing. The two teams then went to the break, Song looking very good at 2 0 on the day and 2 1 on aggregate. Platinum regrouped, they did not lose focus, and in one of the greatest comebacks from away teams, notice was sent on second half intentions when Rodolf Chiengetere picked the perfect Chikwende, who did well to shield the ball but was unlucky to see his shot blocked by Infran Motola. The Zimbabwe champions are pressed and eventually found the all-important away goal after a cross from informer Gift Mweti was met with a flashing header by resurrected Rodwell Chinyengetere that left Songo keeper Lionel Pendula clutching thin air. It was 2-1 on the day but 2 all on aggregate with Platinum back in charge as their away goal counted twice. Tables turned for the West for home team Songo after a sweet pass from Weti picked never Tigere and from such positions Tigere never airs. It was now 2 all but 3 2 in Platinum's favor on aggregate. Dramatic comeback from Platinum, a great character, but they were not finished. Chinyengetere then showed the cluster that makes him a cut above the rest after slicing home a first time exciting Mweti's cutback and the keeper had no chance. 3-2 on the day and Songo were now dead but perhaps awaiting burial. Burial did arrive when arguably man of the match Gift Mweti intercepted a John Banda pass and as if that were not enough, Banda went on to pull down Mweti in the box and referee Bernard Hensel Kamile did not hesitate to point to the spot. Efficient, Chinyengetere sent the keeper the wrong way and the fairy tale comeback was complete. Interim coach Lizwe Suese, who took over the team a few days before the first leg, deserves credit for bold decisions taken in his approach to the game. Suese dropped the big names on his starting 11, attacked away from home, and knowing very well the potency of his soldiers, he went for the jugular and never set back to protect any lead when clearly he had better players than his opponents. There was no reason for the fear of the unknown. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Lots of words. Uh, as a coach, I'm very proud about these boys. I'm very proud about the team. Uh, I'm very proud about the fans. Uh, the way we, we play today, especially coming from a two goal nil, uh, the boys showed character. Uh, they followed exactly what we had planned coming here. So Platinum are doing the country proud then and telling a story about the potential that Zimbabwe has in the game when things are done correctly both on the pitch and administratively. A victory that only the gallant could post, never wrecking but not lost as the boys demonstrated Platinum class to rise from the dead and lay to rest Songo who flattered to deceive. For Pew Platinum Television in Baira, Mozambique, I'm Tanazani Zimbabwe.